Happiness is only real when it's shared. That's why I chose this job. Whilst travelling, I realised that the best way to savour the beauty of a place is to see it through the eyes of the people around me. No words are needed, just be silent and watch. The Dolomites are one of my favourite places to ride gravel. You can find everything here. The climbs that crown legendary cyclists of the past and boundless panoramas in which we can pedal up to the area's famous mountain refuges lost in the greenery. We ease into the tour, starting from the hotel along the Val di Fiemme cycle path. The road runs smoothly up to one of our stops, the monumental tree El Peso del Gasolin, a 200-year-old giant that dominates the entire surrounding forest. We continue and our track takes us up to the Cavalese waterfalls. Despite the icy waters, we can wash away the fatigue with a smile. Day, located on a vast plateau, is the start and end point of the loop that we cycle in the afternoon. The road connects the Val di Fiemme to the Valdega and is the access to the Occlini Pass, dominated to the north by the Corno Bianco and to the south by the Corno Nero. The circular route ends after passing yeah. by the Malga Lab and the Malga Capanna Nuova and takes us back to the Paso Lavadze, where we say farewell to the day with a spectacular sunset. <laughs> the new day opens with a stop at the Bio Lake. We leave passing through the Pradazzo Gorge, a locality of Sottosassa. We cross an ancient bridge, known as the Lizzata, and continue parallel to the Travignolo stream. A Tibetan bridge takes us to the Stramentizzo Dam. We climb along the forest road that leads us to the Segantini Hut, which takes its name from a famous painter from Arco. The spectacle of the Palais di San Martino that appears in the background repays us for the effort of the climb. The last stop of the day will be the Luisa Pass, a crossroads where the Val di Fassa and Val di Fiemme meet. The last day of the tour has arrived. We go up towards the Costa Lunga Pass in the direction of the Negra Pass. We admire the spectacular landscape that surrounds us overlooking the Latima. We descend from the Negra Pass towards Lake Carezza, which welcomes us with its sparkling colours. A real gem nestled in the mountains. Mm. 
after a break, we reach Oberegen in the direction of the Pampeago Pass, a legendary climb of the Giro d'Italia. The journey is almost over, and like every time having shared it with someone who has the same passion as you, it makes these moments indelible and repays all the sacrifices and hardships.